What's up guys? So, shooting a quick one for you guys. Maybe a little something for your eyes and ears. Get a quick laugh. Um, had a customer call me. Got a few leaks on the uh, Grand Am here. Came in, told me a story. Catch you guys up after this. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys. So, customer called me yesterday, um, talking about got no power steering. They got to keep adding power steering to it. Um, it's actually the second time they called me. They called me last week to mention it, and then they called me yesterday to see if they could get it in today. But uh, they came here. They had a couple other things they wanted me to look at. Kind of got the backstory. Always quiz the customers. Make sure you know you're you're going to find the problem that they come in for, and you you know check out all their concerns and all that stuff. So uh, proceeded to tell me, you know, he had his neighbor look at it. They tried fixing the power steering leak. He's also got a fuel leak on here that his neighbor had taken a look at. I don't know if the neighbor's a mechanic or knows his way around cars or anything like that. But uh, oil change, typical stuff on it. So I, I pull it in, get it all racked up. As soon as I walk up to the car, you can could, you could tell it smells like gas. I actually smell it now here in the shop. But uh, get it on the rack to kind of see where these leaks are. And this is what I see. So I want you guys to check this out. All right, guys. So I got my little flashlight here. And obviously, living in the rust belt, it's, things are going to be rusty. Normal stuff to me, whatever. But uh, these lines, you know, you got your brake lines, you got your three fuel lines, your supply, return, and your vapor line, along with the smaller two that are your brake lines. Obviously, you know, if a car customer came in and said, hey, check my lines, I would probably recommend all these you guys know I do a whole lot of brake lines and fuel lines but I guess the neighbor thought differently they didn't want to do all the lines so this is what they did to it now I don't know <laughs> I don't know what that is I mean to me it looks like muffler cement or something it's some kind of hard I don't know glue or something I mean there's a napkin up in there we got some kind of uh rubber band here that to hold it all together I mean god I don't know what this guy was thinking putting a napkin in there I, I, I don't know maybe it was gonna stop the fuel leak or it absorb it before it dripped on the ground or something I'm not sure but uh, yeah that's what I find and I mean he glued the brake lines to it the bolt is got glue on it I, I don't jeez it's all back here all packed together into one solid line now that's all cemented together Oh man, my slogan is, I fix what everybody else has repaired, but, and then as far as the power steering leak, I'm thinking, okay, high pressure holes, typical stuff on these, we got some rust over here, you know, on the cooler line, return line, coming down, you can clearly see that the high pressure hose is leaking, I don't know if you guys are seeing that, but here at the power steering pump, they glued that too. <laughs> But I figure, yeah, I just got done laughing about this and, you know, I figure I'd shoot a quick video, get you guys to chuckle a bit, um, see the brighter side of life. So I got to see what we got to do here, talk to the customer. But yeah. So that's how my morning's been. So now I got to go through and uh, obviously see if the customer's even going to want to get into it. You know, just, you know, if this thing's a 2003 or whatever it is, you know, I, I, I know they're not worth a ton with the amount of rust that underneath it, but I'm going to price up the brake lines. I'm going to price up, you know, all the fuel lines and all that stuff, the labor bleeding the brakes, both the return and the supply power steering line. See what the customer wants to do here. You know, I mean, I t obviously I, I'm not, it's not like I'm going to bash their neighbor or their mechanic, whoever did it, did the glue, but I got to tell them what I find. I don't know if they know they got glue on it. They didn't mention to me in the morning that they put glue on it or whatever they used, some type of cement or whatever. The guy might have been a concrete guy, not a mechanic, but <laughs> figure I'd give you a quick one. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see what happens with this one. Check you in the next one.
Signing out.